life is not being sitting in Detroit, Michigan. You may be working a job, but God today is about to prosper you like he's never said before. Amen? You know, we, we have to go back to God's Torah, back to his word. Torah, ladies and gentlemen, is not a law. Torah is God's teaching and instruction. The problem is, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have not known that obedience brings the blessing. To be honest with you, I feel like I'm just coming to the truth. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. Rabbi, teacher, anointed by the Spirit, the time that God ordained for you to move into the office of prophet protected by the Word of God. Amen. Come on. Welcome to the program. The first five books of our Bible, Genesis through Deuteronomy, are also the first five books of the Hebrew Torah. Our foundational Christian beliefs lie in those books of God's holy law given to Moses in the Greek called the Pentateuch. To really understand some of the most profound biblical truths you must understand the original intention of God that was given to the Hebrews. Well, today, one of the foremost experts and internationally celebrated Torah teachers is with us to lead us to a greater understanding of these two very different concepts. What causes God to perform a miracle versus what it means to walk in God's blessing. Today, I'm joined by Rabbi Ralph Messer, founder and president of the Simca Torah, and he is going to explain foundational truths behind these two supernatural acts of God at work in our lives. Please welcome my good friend, Rabbi Messer. 